This video is sponsored by the audio application in it. More on that later. I've done a lot of goofy Skyrim challenges over the last couple of years, and there's been one consistent theme throughout each and every one of them. Controversial take, uh, call me crazy if you wish, I like inventory management. I like encumbrance. I like Tetris style inventory. I like listed inventory. I like slot limited inventory. I even like destiny inventory. Okay, kidding on that last one. I don't think there's a single person that likes Destiny inventory. But inventories are special, at least to me they are. They mean so much more than just stuff. Not only do inventories hold the items to which we've collected endlessly throughout our journeys, every inventory holds a story. One that you can read if you're able to speak the language and translate properly, so let's try a couple. Now this is my Baldur's Gate 3 inventory. Take a good look at it. What story does that tell you? Does it tell you a man who endlessly collects barrels for his collection? No, 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 no. This inventory tells the story of a man who is calculated. A man who has a plan. Fallout 4, okay, looks like we just have a casual scientist here with an interest in medicine. This tells us about somebody who is scientific by nature, highly intelligent. cheese connoisseur in Skyrim, a woodcutter in RuneScape. Pick any game you and a friend have played and you can likely glean a few things about them based on what their inventory looks like. I bet you've even at least once in life just thumbed through your friend's endgame inventory. It's like a less intrusive version of reading someone's personal diary because again, inventories, no matter how insignificant they may seem, are always passively writing their own story. This is a Skyrim video, right? It's not exactly news for the channel, I know that, but it's a Skyrim challenge that's based on an incredibly simple question. What if we took that inventory, that passive storytelling device, and we cut it down to just one slot? What kind of story would that one inventory slot be able to tell? The story of this inventory starts like all challenge runs with the rules. Thanks to friend of the channel, Red Yeti, my inventory will be permanently locked to one slot and any item picked up will be automatically equipped. Here's a cool demonstration of what happens with a full inventory if you turn this mod on. Golden keys need not apply to this restriction. We can still grab those. Items in the holy slot of carrying can stack if applicable, and I'd like to avoid any super cheesy magic strategies as well. The point of this experiment, like with most challenges, is to drown myself in limitation, seeing what obscure strategies or mechanics float to the top of the water. And just in case you thought it was too easy, no storage and no starting spells. How do I survive, eat, sleep, travel, manage quest items? Which items are most valuable in that slot? There's a few other tweaks, but we'll talk about those as they become relevant. As much as I hate multi-part series on the channel, it didn't really take long for reality to set in. That reality? Yo, 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 stop! We're toast. I took the worst route possible. I'm frostbitten. Get up on the rock. We gotta get to the castle. Go! Oh my god, I'm running out of time. Well, how much time do I have left? I have 10 health! I literally fucking hate this game. This is gonna take a really long time, isn't it? Isn't it? Huh? Isn't it? Dude, we don't talk like- No, it's not British cultural appropriation. It's today's video sponsor, Init. Init is an audio application that seeks to transform how you hear games by generating a virtual three-dimensional sound field so sounds are placed where your brain naturally expects to hear them. Init works with any pair of headphones or earphones to improve the audio experience for audio enthusiasts and PC gamers alike by removing the unnatural feeling that comes from having sound pumped out by speakers right next to your ears. One on, one on, one on. 
This makes a big difference in games across genres, but where it's most notable is in games where immersion is key. And it works with all games and even music, along with recommended settings for select titles to reach your preferred soundscape. Three, two, one, execute. You can try out in it yourself for free using my link down below to gain access to their 14 day free trial. Once again, thank you to in it for sponsoring today's video. Okay, we are going to go Khajiit. We're going to get a buff to our unarmed damage. Single lady. <laughs> I kind of like single lady. I mean, if we're referring to Beyonce, solo pocket, <gasps> pocket, out of pocket. I like out of pocket. I do. I do like out of pocket. That's really good. Out of pocket. It just keeps evolving. So here's the way it works. If I hold down the safety key, I can grab something. It will automatically equip equipables as well. If we are not allowed to pick it up, it will just drop it right back down. We have to hold down the safety key in order to actually pick something up. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Let's not die right off the bat. Oh my God. Oh God, food. Food is gonna be a nightmare. Oh, here's how we're gonna have to eat. Directly from their pockets. How much you want to bet I get a disease here? Feels like I'm a glutton for it. Like I said, this is gonna take a while. Now for each day, I made a list of short-term goals because if this is gonna be a long grind, I at least want some small victories along the way. Day one was simple. Explore the mechanics of the challenge, which we already have a pretty good head start on. I'm probably gonna wanna try and steal some food, but the food that sits on the counter, we can't eat off the counter. It has to go into our inventory in order to eat it. The easiest way to eat is out of a container containing food. Wrap your head around all that nonsense. We'll definitely need to address food, but we also need a good idea of what best to use in our inventory slot. Light armor seemed like a good bet early on. It offers some protection and plenty of Skyrim's low level bandits carry it, which means stacking potential, which means maybe we make a few bucks. So we're gonna ditch Imperial light armor. We're gonna go hide armor because bandits wear a ton of it. Important above all these other objectives, however, we need a servant. Is he told the gold battles in gold? Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. I love that. You know, you gotta love a guy who's so dedicated to the book that he will interrupt his concert to talk to a complete stranger. Like he's up there rocking it. Dun -dun 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 gold he had made. Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius, that son of a bitch. Camilla, I know I have called upon you at your house many times, and while we may be growing close, I need you to put any desires you may have for me aside. I'm a true son of Valenwood, and I can never befoul my bloodline by courting an Imperial. I hope we can remain true friends, provided you understand <laughs> your people's place in the Aldmeri Dominion and respect me as such. That's so funny. That's actually hilarious. Honestly, that one made me laugh way more than Feindel's fake letter, so we're gonna go with Sven. Plus, on the bright side, Sven can die. Now that's what I like to hear. Now that you finally have an opportunity to court your lover, let's get out of town. Let's leave her behind, so that the only person she can hang out with now is Feindel. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Sorry, hold on. Do you mind? Hey, could you hand the what bounty over to me? I didn't quite get to read it. Ma'am? Hold on, hold on. This is a really devious paper cut. Is anybody in chat a surgeon? Yeah, we're gonna eat all these fish out of the barrel. We just gotta sneak around. Good job, Sven. Keep your head down. Stay out of sight. It only restores two points of hunger if it's not cooked. Okay, so raw meat is not gonna help us out that much. Is there any one ingredient recipe? They're all two ingredients. Leek! Ah, grilled leek. It's only 18 points of hunger. Shit. Okay, the only thing we can cook is grilled leek. One solution is we do our adventuring. We end up becoming hungry. We journey all the way back to an inn and do some inventory manipulation to buy food. Although it's not as exciting and we're going to be able to save so much time if we figure out something. Oh, cannibal. What? Duh, I, I literally thought about this earlier. We have to become a cannibal. 
Or so I thought, because becoming a cannibal entails holding the Ring of Namira. I can't just commit to one item for the entire run, and by rule I can only give my followers direct upgrades, they can't be used for storage. The ring provides no stat buffs. Editor's note, um, yeah, I guess I'm literally realizing now as I edit, this ring does provide a stat buff, so by rule I could hand it over to my follower, but I made my bed, so we'll sleep in it. So juggling it between myself and a follower is disallowed. Does vampirism restore hunger? Feeding as a vamp does restore hunger, but need a sleeping or charmed NPC. Vampirism is an interesting thought that comes with its own baggage, but let's back pocket that idea for now. I've got a servant and a little bit of a hold on the mechanic, so let's try and scrounge up some gold as inefficient as we may be at it. Aggro to spend. Please aggro on to spend. Woo! Mmm, I want to take that amethyst so bad. This sucks. Yikes, yikes. Was not ready for that. That did a ton of damage early. Sven, go tank. No. Oh my god, I'm so close to dying. Alright, one down. Keep it up, Sven. Can't take a hit here. Holy shit, he's doing execution moves. They teach you that at Bard College? All right, everybody, settle in. Settle in, class. Take your seats. Now, as you all know, the Bards College has changed curriculum quite a lot coming into this school year. So today, we're going to be learning about thrusting. Now, that's what I like to hear. No, Sven, you cannot practice on Camilla Valerius. She doesn't even go here. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Anyway, class, I want you to meet me all on page four, where we can begin Camilla talking Valerius. about... Camilla Valerius. I'm right behind you. Camilla Valerius. I think you deserve my tip. Sven, what the fuck, dude? Hey, take a deep breath, relax, main character. No, don't give me that look. Ooh, green apples, not bad. Tomatoes, not bad. Uh, Sven, careful. No, Sven, 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 UK, don't die on me. We can't lose you right away. Yeah, he's good. He's good. You can't kill Sven. Small correction, they absolutely could have killed Sven because I also installed follower death and injury chance. I knew relying on followers would be important for this run, so why not make it so every time they go down, they have a really high chance of suffering brutal internal injuries, or in some cases, death. Let's roll the dice on our babysitting skills. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Here's the bounty. Healing hands, 275. Should we keep Sven alive or do we heal ourselves? It's com it's really not advantageous, but I'll take it. Sven, we're keeping you alive, buddy. Ooh, there's missives. What do we got on the board? Deliver potion to Riverwood. You know what? Why not? Collect Arcadia's potion for Feindal. I'm here for the delivery job. Of course. Sven, you can cover us while I do the deliver. Oh, fuck. How do I get it through the loading screen? <laughs> Wait, hold on. This armor is a direct upgrade. We give him. Oh god, now I have to look at his nipples. How pissed off is Fandal gonna be? Will he be happy with us after we bring him his potion? Oh my god, he's getting a jar and root potion for himself after Camilla broke his heart. Do we just run Bleak Falls real quick? I doubt Bleak Falls is all that difficult. Oh my fudging frick. This is really bad. Okay, we have to rely now on Sven to win this fight. I've got no stamina. Oh, no. Stay up, buddy. Stay up. That's why I love you, Sven. Nice. He's got the aggro. My guy. I'm frostbitten. What does that mean? It's a 24-hour debuff. Damn. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Bad. Sven! Sven! Look at him. He's transformed from a weak bard into a full-time warrior. I have a really stupid idea. All right, we'll take the scroll here. We'll carry it along. Okay, scroll out in the room. Equip the scroll. Throw the armor back on and hide. We gotta make sure he lives. You're all right, you're all right, keep pushing. You should try actually hitting something, though. Because you you're not hitting it. There you go. Shit, he's taking a lot of damage. I really want to carry Arvel. <laughs> it's going to take so long. I'm an idiot. Why would I carry Arvel? 
I can carry the claw. Yes, yes, okay. The play style is all starting to come together. And now we can weaponize the golden claw. Damn it, that would have been so cool. That would have been awesome. That was a perfect, oh shit, Sven. No, he's down. Oh my God, I completely forgot about him. Don't die, don't die, don't let this be the end. If he dies here, I'll never forgive myself. I cannot, I cannot believe it. I think that's the biggest choke I've ever had in my life. All right, last one of these, I promise. I wanted death to be more consequential, so I added Ash's death mod to my game. Instead of just reverting back to my previous autosave, death takes away some hard-earned gold and respawns me at my previous resting point. That way, I can reflect on the mistakes I've made as I backtrack all the way back to make up for lost progress. It's really fun, and we're definitely not gonna be removing this when it inevitably proves far too difficult. Sven is 100% the main character. Sven is our servant. Okay, he is not our friend. Oh God, okay. I'm gonna kick it to the other room. Bro. Bro, no, Sven, why? Why would you do that? All right, let's look on the bright side. Sven is now dead. I have hardly any health to get through the rest of Bleak Falls Barrow, and my healing spell is completely useless. This is a really stupid idea, let's do it. I'm dead. No. Oh my god! Oh my god. I. Uh... That. That sucked. <laughs> that actually sucked so hard. It reactivates when you go back through the dungeon. I literally fucking hate this game. I, I think I got the yips. I think I, I just have the yips. I can't get through the simplest trap. Yeah, we could get another follower. Oh, let's do it. You know what? Let's get another follower real quick. You know what's gonna happen right now? I'm not gonna have enough gold. Oh, I have just enough gold. <laughs> Perfect. Look at that damage. That's the fastest ass kicking I've ever given out in that fight. You're fashionably late? No, you're just on time. We're about to go do uh, Bleak Falls Barrow. I haven't gone there yet, so, you know, we might as well just clear it off the checklist. All right, she's not even following me. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah, that easy. Fuck you, door. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. If you die to that trap, you're a loser. If you cannot get past that trap, you are pathetic. I'm really tired of everybody making fun of me for going through the, going through the trap. It really hurts me when, when you make fun of me for sucking ass at this game. Fuck this game, dude. It's not, I'm not crying. I'm serious. This was really fucking hard. Ah, no, no, it didn't sprint. What the fuck? Why? I Needless to say, day one was an unmitigated disaster all across the board, only a few positives. We got used to the uh, gameplay and mechanics a little bit, some item juggling here and there, that was nice. The main victory of day one really was identifying the problems we're gonna face. Food is a big one, of course, we've talked about it a few times, obviously cold, travel is up there, money, damn near impossible to get by around here, survivability is trash, I'm basically a walking insurance claim, but all these issues gave me some good clarity on a game plan for day two. For survivability, we're gonna swap out armor in favor of a shield. I think block gives us more flexibility and control. It's also trainable in ways that don't involve, you know, dying. So when possible, I want that one inventory slot filled with a shield. Get a dragon shout for another hands-free option. Anything to provide flexibility. Might as well after four separate walks back to Bleak Falls. I'm not even risking it. No, it's not happening. Utgard, you got this. And yes, before you ask, 
I had to manually carry the Golden Claw all the way back to Riverwood. I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll one quest down, we got one on the board. It's hard to make money without having a stash bag, but if we hit level 20 speech, we could employ ourselves as a bard to make up for our financial shortfall. Maybe grind sneak for some easy XP, and if there's time for it, Keep tabs on vampirism, because walking blood bags can make for a nice meal supplement. Now lots of goals, but again paramount amongst all of these. Maybe let's not lead our followers to certain death this time? Maybe? Alright Rocky, you're gonna help me train my restoration skill. Come here Uthgird. It's nothing. No, no, don't- Oh my gosh, she went to- Oh my god. Uthgird the Unbroken is severely injured, and will recover in 17 days. Oh, she's even got a little bandage on her forehead. No, you're not. Oh, no. She can be that slow. <gasps> 17 days of this. Oh, she's down. Oh, God. OK. All right. We'll fall back a little bit. Rocky, you know what to do. Uh, I'm going to put you down. Come on, Uthgard. Kick his ass. Oh, she's down again. She's not down again. Maybe she got more powerful after all that. Why? I think I blasted her with a lightning. I didn't mean to. Oh, oh. I think she's speaking to us in Morse code. No, no. Uthgar deserves a proper, a, a, you know, a warrior's burial. What you have on you? Nice. 12 gold. Hell yeah. Key, all right. All right, we have the key to Uthgard's house, and I think everything in her house is free because she was friends with us. That's how it works. Thank you for serving me, Uthgard. Don't look at me. Look over here. Now we have to separate, break his concentration. Why is he moaning? Also, his eyes are open. He is not sleeping. Oh, he's wide awake. <laughs> That's terrifying. This is fun. I'm tired of doing things in this game. I'm tired of being challenged. I am ready for the game to play itself for me. Oh, we're done. Now we're on. The adventure is on. All right, step number two. Do we bag and tag this dragon? I've been looking for you. Item you just received is a quest item. Do you want to keep it? Nah. Now, nah. oh my God, this this mod is amazing. Finally, I can reject his stupid letters. I don't care. Get used to it, all right? I've been walking around town for six days, completely nude, every single day. I'm tired of it. Also, I'm covered in fur. My surface area is covered. Shut up. Look for survivors. Let's go. Oh, flush. Yes. All right, now we're going to get some XP. I bet there's a ton of restoration XP we can get in the middle of this fight. He's totally going to turn right. Oh, nice. Nice. He's not looking at us. If she goes down, that's okay. We can just heal her. What is <laughs> Dude, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you're gonna hit this shot, dude. Yeah, yeah, I think he actually hit that shot. Another restoration level. This fight is huge. Have you? No, 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 not at the end. Oh, rest in peace, soldier. You are a hero. Genuinely a hero. I tried to save him. No, a proper burial is needed. I, why does everyone close to me have to die in this journey? Okay, fuck it. Close enough. Thanks for the money. Another one. Jarl has appointed to me to be your house, goes. Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Welcome, Lydia. Lydia joins the team. We've got our shout and a few new handy spells, so let's train along the way to Solitude where we can get some bard education. We'll try not to let Lydia get killed. I'd like to not get my head ripped off here. Uh, Lydia's double teamed right now. Lydia, I'm coming. God damn it, she's down. I got there just a little bit too late. Okay, they're all gonna be aggroed onto me right now, I bet. Try to get Lydia back into this fight as best we can. Damn, my right hook is really powerful. Lydia's gonna have to push up front. Nice! Oh, Lydia, huge play! That chief just smoked her. She's losing health really fast. She's almost dead. Nice! How do we not get a stumble on him there? I need a shield bash and buy her some time. There we go.
I love you. Whoa, 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 whoa. I love you. No, don't go hostile to me, I'm a friend. Now, hold on, we have to be careful. It looks like Lydia's going to engage the bandits in combat and I can't do anything. Lydia, I can't help you from here. Oh no, she's getting her ass kicked. Wait, that's not Lydia, that's a mud crab. Where the hell's Lydia? Who do I want to win, the bandits or the mammoth? Well, probably the mammoth. Lydia? Uh-oh. I think Lydia might be dead. All right, let's see if she's in here. I doubt it. Lydia is in fact not in. Oh my lord, Lydia, don't ever scare me like that again. Do you understand me? Nice hit, Lydia. She's already in on it. Come on, bitch. Sorry, Lydia. Vampire? Wait, hold on, Lydia, don't kill him. Wait, wait, don't kill this guy, Lydia. I need to catch his disease. Oh, you asshole. That's so Bush League. Never mind, he dies. He wants to cheat. Yeah, kill him, kill him. He wants to cheat, kill him. Ooh! Nice, big power attack. Lydia, you're scaring me. <laughs> this carnage is a little bit too much, Lydia, all right? Is that a free horse? This feels like bait. What? And it's legal? I would like some free education, my fine sir. I do have a task befitting an aspiring bard. I, I, I assume the task you're about to assign me is bard related, like learn how to play an instrument or... We've come to the right place. There we go. We have now become educated. And because of our education, because of our hard work hitting the books, now we can perform for cash. Like any other university student, I'm now broke, but hopefully talented enough to swing a few septums my way with art. No, 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 put that, put that thing away. Here, I'll show you how a real bard does it. Help, someone's being attacked. What say you in your defense? My bad. <laughs> Wait, oh, we'll play for the guards. Look, there's so many of them right here. We can interrupt their training with music. Music. Powers can only be used once a day. I didn't use them. It's gone? Oh, no way. It gets rid of it? Oh my God, this is ridiculous. Now I've got no money. I can't play my music. You know you can afford a septum or two. I literally can't. I mean, I can. I have six. You probably have more money than me. He does. <laughs> yeah, screw solitude. It's too mainstream for me anyway. Oh, hello. Hey. Have a seat, please. Really? You just let a stranger walk into your house and immediately jump to? Yeah, go ahead. 21 gold. Aha, I found your hidden allowance, Canood. Guess who's not going to college anymore? We're here to teach you a lesson. Are you shitting? Are you guys for real? Hold on, hold on, hold on. These people could actually kill Lydia. This is bad. Shit. God damn it, I'm healing the bad guys. Oh, this is not good. She got a few good hits in there when I stole aggro. It's all good, Lid. We gotta just gotta keep circling around. Nice power attack. Oh shit, she's about to go down. Ah, don't heal the thug. Looks like Lydia's okay though, she tanked it. That guy's gonna power attack directly into her and hit though. No, 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 <laughs> you fuckers. Let's go, sons of bitches. Oh. My. God. Hey. You won't leave here alive. Hear me out. This is why Lydia dying is actually good for us. Because now that I'm beginning my underground career as a musician, I gotta speak from the soul. You know, in having these tragedies happen to me three times now, there's gonna be, you know, a lot of soul in there. There's gonna be... Something in the way, you know? What should we title our first album? Fuck. Oh, fuck. I appreciate the suggestion, Mr. Mudcrab. I am never getting killed by a Mudcrab again. I fucking hate this game. I ended up in the worst possible place to be a bard. You know what, maybe it's not too bad because the only competition I have here absolutely sucks. Watch this lurbuck, I'm about to show you up. Everybody please don't leave. No, you're not allowed to leave, I'm playing music. And I'm naked. 
I wish you would step back from that ledge, my friend. We could cut ties with all the lies that you've been living in. 47 gold, all right, all right! We have to knock it out of the park at this next performance. Yeah, she's playing fucking flute. <laughs> this is gonna be so easy to upstage. Well, I just heard news today. Seems my, yeah, she likes it. She likes Creed over there. Is gonna change. 122 gold, we are a rock star. Might as well perform again while we can. Ooh, crap. I just need a couple bucks. All we need, Lonely Gale. I know those pockets are bursting at the seams with some coin. I lost my coin sister a while back. Have you ever lost anyone close? Can you not just murder the vibes? <laughs> One of these, I believe it's this little lake up here. There should be vampires. Oh, shoot, right there. Fledgling, that's good. Holy damage. Nice, nice, yes, yes. I accept your donation of disease. That's right. Keep sucking. There we go, we got it. Oh my God. No, no, oh fuck, no, no, get away, get away up there. Please, I swear, don't kill me. Oh my God. I didn't blow it. Okay, day two, significantly better. Shield seems to be working well. I'm, I'm not much of a leader, but you know, practice makes perfect. I have a career, although crowds may be hit or miss. You know, the genre of Midwest emo, it's tough to break into. This is perfect, look at this crowd. This is huge. Nope, nope, Mikhail, don't even start. This is my show. Nope, no, 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 naked cat, everybody. 43 gold feels weak, what are you all, poor? I even caught vampirism. However, unfortunately for me, vampirism in Skyrim kind of functions like how your out of touch boomer grandparents wish that sexuality worked. It got rid of your, oh no. Oh, it got rid of my va vampire. We have to save the vampire. We've targeted our prey, cornered our prey. Now use your thing on me. Come on, use your power. There you go, that's all it took. Okay, let's not dot. I am a vampire. Woo! He says, I thought he said ass man for a second. He says, and as man, you just cured vampires. God dang it, did I really? This game doesn't want to see me succeed. We roll with the punches, that's okay. We know where we can find more vampires, right? We're gonna get vampirism, it's gonna happen. For day three, my goals were simple. Stick with shield, seems to be pretty useful so far. Uh, keep a follower alive and try to upgrade them properly. Start the Dawn Guard DLC when possible. Not too much to worry about today. After some light and fairly easy questing around Whiterun, including some savvy inventory juggling, darn it. All right, hear me out, hear me out. We take the garnet, we drop the shield. Let's go sell it. Eventually, we had enough money for a new follower. You have chosen wisely. Lead on, and I shall follow. We're not gonna get her killed, okay? I just got Janessa killed. It's over. She's not making it out. There's three of them there. You've got a mage in back, you've got blind guy in front, and you have two-handed sword who is gearing up, ready to swing that thing through her torso. We gotta go healing hands, try to keep Janessa alive. Now I'm out of magic. Two-hander is right next to me. I think Janessa's at full health. So while everything is kind of slowed down here and he's stumbling to our right. Okay, now it's a solo, it's a 1v1. Janessa might be able to finish this off. Come on, Jay. Can't be taking that many power attacks. She's winning! Janessa, you got this! One more! Yes! Oh, yes, Janessa! Oh, you are a tank, I love you. Janessa, what the fuck are you swinging at? Thank you. <laughs> what is she doing? I'm gonna try something stupid here. Didn't work. Janessa is completely on her own. She's got one archer bearing down on her up top. She should be able to win the 1v1 on the bridge. This is a bad idea. 
That arrow just missed my head. Stay alive, Jay. Gravely injured. I think she's alive, though. Nice block. We almost have one of these two dead. Oh, that's the chief. Okay. Uh, my stamina ran out. Ooh, girl, girl, girl. Watch it. That was close. Beautiful log of defense. Throw this log up in between. Go. Where am I getting hit from? I, I, I have no clue where I'm getting shot. Pick up the potions, drop the shield. Now we're back to full. Now where the hell is Janessa? Oh, she's gonna die. No! This game! <laughs> no! I just... Oh, uh, Janessa, I tried! Why must this game do this to me? I'll do right by one of these followers one of these days. Maybe not today. Where is she? <laughs> Where is she? I gotta be able to see her in the waterfall. I swear, if she's stuck here... I... <laughs> Damn it! It doesn't work if you don't actually go down the waterfall. There's a man in Morthal you can fight and then he will follow you. We're going to Morthal. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? Finally. After all these times on the channel, I finally get to say yes and mean it. All right, so we got to fight Benor. I bet I can take you on barehanded and naked. Now let's see what you got. All right, let's kick ass one more time. I don't even have to try. This is so easy. See, Durak? You did right by recruiting me. That was a joke. This guy is supposed to protect me? Welcome to a long, successful lineage <laughs> of warriors and adventurers. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by. Kill the bounty. dragon located at Skyborn Altar. That, that, that's not a bounty. That is not a bounty. Kill the dragon. Yeah, Are you shitting me? Is that the bounty? Yo, 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 I'm taking cover. Benor, you got this? Benor? Oh my god, if I lose Benor here. Oak Flesh, heal ourselves up a little bit. I need eyes on Benor. Okay, it looks like the dragon is mostly going after the guards. Benor still fairly close to full health. This is actually huge. If we get a dragon kill here, he's gonna drop a couple hundred gold. All right, let's heal up that guard. The more non-Benor targets we keep on the field, better chance of him living. I'm out of here. Oh my God, oh my God. No, no, no way, man, I'm dead. No, at the buzzer. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Benor, where you at, you good? All right, Benor, get up there, let's go. Come on. I'm gonna crush you like a bug. Okay, maybe let's not get that cocky. Let's, <laughs> let's get lazy with our confidence. Roughly at half health, he's turning towards me, it looks like. Shit, one guard's down. Uh, Benor, my, I don't know if Benor's making it out of this one, y'all. Yeah, yeah, I think Benor's, I think Benor might be fucked. Benor needs some help. Okay, it doesn't look like Benor is actually dead dead. Use the rocks as cover. I got a bail. The guard just died. I might be the only combatant left. No, he's fighting someone. All right, he's shooting at somebody else. I'm going for it. Oh, it's a dagger? It's a dagger. I thought it was a tall. Oh. oh my God. Benor, please kill it. Holy shit. Holy shit, we're alive. Oh my God, we're alive. <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. Benor lives. We got some gold. We got a dragon bone we can sell. 
Maybe it was an accident, maybe I got lucky. I don't really care, because with Benro by my side, and maybe a little bit of luck, I think I can finally turn this ship around. We've got an invite to join a prestigious club, so we're off to Riften for now to see where it takes us. Hold well, on, let's take care of one thing first. It's a tradition, blah. It's a tra tra it's a tradition. I can speak words. Let's just get it out of the way here. One, two, three. Oh my God. Other than detonating Grelod's spine, things weren't too eventful here. We found some nice upgrades for Benor, joined the Dawn Guard, and made our way to the first Dawn Guard quest. Side note, traversing the cold areas of the map on survival mode sucks ass, but sucks double ass doing it naked. I lost Benor for a little bit and got scared. Where's Benor? This is a disaster. Benor! Then I found him and I got happy. Oh, is that, be please tell me that's Ben- Benor has lived! I love you. I love you, Benor. I hope you know that. Then we got tossed around by the vampire dog within 30 seconds of entering the quest dungeon. I'm just not powerful enough, not even close. Hey, at least Benoit lived, and he's got a cool little scar. I wonder, do you think it's possible to play Skyrim and quickly acquire power without ever leaving Dawnstar? You know, someone should make a video on that. Okay, all right, I'm hitting it in its balls. All this progress, I don't know what to do with it. It's like my hands are full of success, and it's like, eventually at some point, I'll have so much success in my lap that some of it's gonna spill off to the sides. I know I said I'd avoid cheesy magic strategies, and I, I am. I just needed a little bit of a level boost. Give me a break, all right? I've been getting my ass kicked. So for around two hours, I just kinda chilled in Dawnstar, spamming Restoration and Illusion, mostly for the level up stat boost. Around this time, I also unlocked a spell called Akato's Recital, which is neat because it automatically casts protective spells like Oak Flesh or Flame Cloak right at the start of combat. I don't think it's too cheesy, especially considering everything working against us right now. During this time, we got more lucky than anything. Two dragon spawns in town, tons of money from them, Banor cheated death like four times. Big, oh shit, 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 no, he's hurt. Shot in the eyeball, <laughs> you're good, come on. It's a, just a flesh wound. He's upgraded, I'm upgraded. Our goals are still pretty much the same as the day before. Keep investing into Benor's power level and see how far we can take the Dawn Guard quest line. Before taking on the vampire dungeon, there's one mechanic that I've been sorely missing this whole time, lock picking. The tower stone east of Dawnstar can give us one free lock pick per day, which could prove massive for our playstyle if the timing is right. So that's where we're headed. So last night I had a dream that I started a series that was kind of tongue in cheek. A lot of times on, on stream, people will make jokes where like if I start drinking water or something, you know, something like that, and the microphone accidentally picks up some extra glugs, people will be like, oh, ASMR. I actually started doing like 90 minute streams that were ASMR related as like kind of a joke, but also kind of an excuse for me to essentially do a Skyrim Let's Play where I just whisper. I'm like, okay, and now we will be taking the Tower Stone. That means our buff on Magicka skill increases is now gone. We finally have the ability to unlock chess. Look at those physics. Those physics are just fucking hilarious. Who would... Ah! I forgot it won't go in my inventory. It just flops out. <laughs> anyway, back to the, see, I could never do it. It's, it is not feasible. Something stupid is gonna happen and I'll scream. I could never do a stream like that. Did I say scream or stream? Same, Benor, Benor, why, what happened? 
What? Where? What? In the fuck? What? In the one? What? Get? Where did he? Wait, I need an explanation here. I have no idea where he is. Oh, <gasps> you've got to be shitting me. The worst possible outcome. <laughs> it, it, I'm okay with him dying. Not knowing where or how he died? We have to go find him. New goal, investigate Benor's death. This is terrible. As a giant storm kicks in, I'm naked. Oh, I'm dying. Okay, we need to find cover. There's a cave over here. Let's try to get into this cave before we freeze to death. This is really bad. This is like the worst part of the map to be stuck in while naked. Now I'm freezing. Okay, we are in fact dying. Shit, shit, shit. No, we cannot die here. If we die here, Benor probably despawns. We lose him forever. Sabercat, wolf. Shoot, what is it in front of me? This is really bad. Oh my god, this is dramatic. <laughs> Zap and move. 48? It's all the way down to 48 already. We're dead. We're toast. I took the worst route possible. I can see the lighthouse from here. How are we doing on health? Health check 34. This is going to be a really close call. Come on, Todd, let me up the mountain. I am numb. Uh, it's never good if the condition you're in is a Linkin Park song. I can't see. I'm blind. It's freezing cold. Where's Benar? Not only am I heartbroken, but I'm freezing cold. Oh my god, we're in. Nice. Now I can relax to the soothing, calming sounds of multi-legged creatures in the basement. <laughs> mm, it's very soothing. I cannot believe we lost him like that. I just... I mean, it's hilarious. You know, the content part of my brain goes, oh, this is a brilliant arc. I don't know if you've caught on yet by now, though. The entire video is going to be mostly about getting my followers killed. He would have landed somewhere around here. It's perfectly reasonable to assume that he did in fact go try to save the egg, landed on this rock, ragdolled a little bit. Benor, you died a hero trying to save the egg. Oh my god, he is so much. We, we finally got our follower upgraded. <laughs> this is how it ends. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what kind of breaks my heart. Not seeing it happen. I've failed Benor. I've failed every follower. Sven, Uthgard, Lydia, Janessa, Benor. The only thing you get when you combine me, a stupid set of rules, and responsibility of the lives I'm supposed to care about is some kind of messed up recipe for disaster. I'm no true leader. I don't deserve followers. I deserve the lowest of the low, the bane of my existence. I deserve a niche two-year-old reference. I deserve 500 gold straight bussy. Is that an amulet of Mara? I'm surprised someone like you isn't spoken for. We just met yesterday. It's settled then brief as life can be in Skyrim, at least we'll have each other. Good morning. I'd like to have a wedding at the temple. I'm in love. Madly in love. Your wedding will be held tomorrow, from dawn until dusk. It's an all-day affair. Our wedding is longer than the time we've known each other. I'll see you at our wedding. <laughs> well, maybe. If you marry him, it's passive income. I'd rather marry somebody else. I'm just not interested in Mercurio. Like he's got magic. What's he gonna do? Conjure himself a better paying job? Boom, got it. Got a little bit of separation from the dog. It's gonna slow us down, so we need to stop the dog. Did that work? <laughs> Do you think I got it with my shout or did he get through? <laughs> it worked. Oh my God, it worked. Okay, punch away. Dog down. We have two vampires now, one in back, one in front. Okay, they're gonna do decent damage. Oh, that was close. Ho, ho, whoa. God damn, that was like at the wire. That was razor thin. <laughs> yeah, nice try. Oh, you, that's so not cool. That's actually bullshit. That's rigged. No, the dog's gonna get me. Are you serious? I don't know what to do. I think I have to try and go for a shield bash to stop it. Come on. No! Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. 
I don't know if I should fight a bear, though. Uh, somehow blocked him. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm alive. I can't believe you're speaking to me after what you've done. You broke my heart. <laughs> Can I have another chance, please? All right. Just because it's you, we'll try again. <laughs> All right, fine. No, uh, th this is the most expensive relationship I've ever been in. But fine, Mercurio, come on. After our second engagement, Mercurio made the first Dawn Guard quest a total cakewalk. Even easier with Serana also in tow. <gasps> Laura Bailey! Wait a minute. Where's Troy Baker? You guys are always a package deal. In fact, I think Mercurio is so powerful, the only way to bring him down a notch is to abandon him at the altar a second time, so see ya. We finally completed another quest, and our wonderful reward is getting to experience the worst part of a Skyrim survival run. We're just gonna call this portion of the map Hell. It's got this mountain you gotta get around, it's extremely cold, it takes way too long to get around, and even if you pay the exorbitant fee of 500 gold to teleport directly to the vampire castle, you still have to hoof it on foot back through this area. Fun for me, because trying to optimize a route through it all naked was somewhat compelling, but still terrible. While I journey on foot to the castle, let's catch you up a bit on our one inventory build since it's been a while. So clearly shield is still my main slot, and I plan on it staying like that for as long as I can. For my three main stats, I've gone heavily into stamina and magicka so I can have as many shield bashes and heals as possible. Combine that with restoration now giving us stamina refills, and we can put our enemies in a solid stun lock. Add Akato's recital and the Tower Stone for the occasional chest unlock to the mix, and we're sitting with a decent repertoire of mechanics at our disposal. Speaking of stamina though, holy hell am I glad I invested into it, because this portion of the game would somehow be even more miserable without it. This weather is incredible. What are you talking about? It's freezing cold, it's damn near a storm. Ah, uh, let's not get frostbitten, I hate that. Holy crap, we gotta get to the castle, go! Oh my god, I'm running out of time! Well, how much time do I have left? I have 10 health! <laughs> Serana, go, get to the... Get inside! Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny, real funny, hilarious. You've heard of the Bloodstone Channel? Day five, I'll keep directions short this time. We gotta deliver the Bloodstone Chalice to the woods near Ripton, meaning that it takes up our one inventory slot for now. I have the ability to transform into some kind of naked lizard, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. After 15 hours, I'm finally a vampire, which comes with about as many drawbacks as it does perks. Oh, and I have no stamina, that's just brilliant. Okay, all right, we're starting this off miserable. Actually, wait, this comes with more drawbacks, this sucks. Oh, you know what, there's a bandit camp over here, they have a little fire pit. Nice. Oh, this does big damage, big time damage. Two down. Wonderful, now I have two quest items. <laughs> Look at her, she's mobile. I don't even have to carry her the whole time. She will just roll on down that hill. Okay, no, too much momentum. It's getting faster. Go, Meridia! Oh my God, it's getting even faster. <laughs> it's gonna be nuclear speed. Oh, is it gonna turn? Oh my God, it's turning. It's turning! Go! Move! If it can actually turn the corner, no! All right. Nice. It's just so hard to get excited over Belrind. He doesn't even, he doesn't even protect his abs. Iron sword? We're so fucked. Okay, this guy is so dead. This follower is so dead. There's l l there's three bears right in front of us. He's not making it out. <laughs> He's already dead. Oh, there we go. No. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Holy shit. This is really bad. Oh, my God. Transform. Slimy naked vampire. Okay, activate. Belrin, don't get yourself killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's definitely going down. Oh, no. I'm out of magic. Fly! Flap your wings or twigs, whatever. They just, ew, they look like gross arms. Oh, my God. Belrin, no, don't. Do not get back in the fight. He's an idiot. He's an idiot. 500 gold. You know what? Just... Yeah, yeah, you just go ahead and die, dude. You're so useless. He doesn't have my money. Where did it go? What did you do in the six hours I've known you that made the money disappear? 
Where's my investment? I deserve a refund. I paid you for a service. You did not deliver that service and my money is gone. This may sound weird, but I came to the conclusion that the Vampire Lord ability was a bit cheesy and didn't really fit the theme of this challenge. Also, it looks like a test tube experiment. It's just off putting. It's like C Montgomery Burns was created in a lab. I guess the game is trying to equip a set of armor, but since my inventory doesn't have the room for it, it doesn't equip it. So I get this weird lizard thing. Anyway, whatever. I can manage without it. I don't need that crap. You know what else I don't need? A follower. What the fuck was that, Belrind? You know what, you, you don't even get a seat at the table. That was embarrassing. I can do this on my own, perfectly fine, making excellent use of all the mechanics I've learned up to this point. It's just some vampires. I can do this. Head on in and behave yourself. Oh no way, he caught me immediately. Okay, that's not good. So I hate the uh, flame cloak spell, but I think I have to use it here just out of pure necessity to try and win this fight. We'll go flame cloak. Nice, one down. Okay, two down. Now we just have to deal with the fire mage. Huge, I should be able to take that key. Ooh, nice, Andy has a healing potion in inventory. We'll take that, that's free heals, that's free money. Archer up top, and that's a steel weapon. Ooh, that's good damage. Wow, that's huge. Honestly, insane damage. Now I'm injured, so my max health comes down a bit. Okay, he's down. Okay, two down. We have to start making really economic plays in the middle of battle to win. Nice, let's take the shield. Oh yeah, that's uh, okay, we're done. I forgot about the death hounds. Completely forgot about the dogs. Worst part of this entire thing, chain. <laughs> if you stand next to the door, ooh. You're all so brilliant. We just need the death hound to go down. Come on, flame cloak. Oh, wait, wait, why am I, what's going on? I just took a ton of damage there and I have no clue what happened. Dog has damaging ice aura. Okay, so we're literally fighting each other through the door. This is what arguing on the internet is like. I better see a dead dog corpse right here. And if I, yeah, they actually res the dog. There it goes. Okay, all right, dog turned into ash, nice. No, okay, really, really, I fell for it. I actually fell for it. There's two red dots, who did he res? Yes, we locked out his teammate, he's solo. Or did they get through? No, they're running back. We got him 1v1. Okay, there's a lot of red dots. Where are all these red dots coming from? Where did you come from? I gotta get him back on that first level. He came around quick. Oh shit, I have nowhere to run. That would have been so fucking badass. <laughs> that that would have actually been the coolest thing I've ever done on the channel. Shit, there's three of them. Okay, that's not that's not good. We're gonna try and have to work this one out. They're technically undead. Will Bone Spirit kill them? Let's see. Yeah. Oh yeah, it hits. No, it's a trap. It's a trap. I fell into the dead end. Oh my god, come on! Now we have to get out of this room. They're both draining. I have a decent amount of stamina. Can I afford a shield bash? Or are they both gonna melee me when I try to get out of here? If anything, I'm gonna shield bash the master vampire. His melee hit's gonna hit me harder. Oh fuck, which way was it? I'm getting all turned around. Can we at least break? Please tell me we can break the encounter. I should have casted heal. Encounter broken? Woo! I live. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come on, man. I can't take a hit. I don't have enough health. I can't jump. Got him. Yes, we got him. That bone spirit thing sucks, but it's a huge hit. It keeps going. <laughs> I'm so ready for this dungeon to be done. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's gonna be a trap. It's always a trap. I swear. 
Oh shit. Okay, great. Now, yeah, more. Okay, all right. Uh, this is totally over and I'm dead, but I have one Hail Mary that I'm about to throw. no conceivable way that an NPC gets through that hallway without stepping on a single trap. Stumble him. Unrelenting force just triggered a trap. One down. It's simple as getting them right on this corner and shouting the traps to activate. We just have to activate the traps. We can do that. I gotta, I gotta be honest, y'all. I'm heartbroken. Putting this in in post, I was actually so devastated here. I wanted to get through this dungeon in one try so badly. Watch that not be the dungeon boss. How in the fuck am I alive? I gotta get their attention somehow. I have to get them in this hallway. We gotta go exact same plan of how we took out the dungeon boss. No, yes, got her. One down. Okay, second guy is about to charge in. I don't have my shout. I can't get around him. Am I able to zap the trap? Is there any spells I can use? Telekinesis? You're all crazy. You're all absolutely insane. Oh, there's no way this works. All right, yeah, I died. And I didn't capture it on camera, so it technically doesn't count, but I hit that shot, and I'm not letting this game rob me of a god-tier gamer moment. L listen closely. That's the trap. It hit, but the camera wouldn't turn. I'm dead. I can't switch it. I'm so upset. Let's move on. Am I on the side of the vampires? At what point am I on like the vampires team? Because I've only killed vampire so far. Unfortunately, we'll never know because after the next two quests, yes, we're skipping two of these bad boys, the quest line completely soft locked because you need three items in your inventory to help Serana build a portal to the purple zone. Unfortunately, we don't get to go to the soul cairn, but on the bright side, we don't get to go to the soul cairn. These quests kind of stunk anyway because Serana easily carried them. There was no real challenge of either keeping myself or a follower alive like the previous stuff. Now that's not to say that the journey wasn't at least somewhat entertaining. I think this might be. I, I might officially have to mark this as my least favorite segment of the Skyrim map. I was hoping I'd be fast enough to outrun the cold. Let's get indoors. Or Oh, think maybe you can drag me there, Serana. Even rags would be preferable to your current wardrobe or lack thereof. Why is there a bear here? <laughs> Why is this currently happening? What are you going to do about it, Blaze? You putting your dukes up? You going to defend the homestead? Why why am I responsible for defending this farm? No. Oh, stop. No, I'm in my anti-bear circle. Thank you, Serana. Appreciate the assist. Oh, hmm. you don't like the ice suppositories going up your ass? Yeah, you shouldn't have attacked this poor family. And you killed my horse. I was going to steal that thing. Jesus, this guy's going. Oh, Serana, friendly fire. Why is the goat? What is happening? Enough. I, all right, my horse already has an icicle in its ankle. It doesn't need a polar bear up its ass. Anyway, yeah, uh, I'm not going to miss this trip back to the castle. So we're soft locked in here with daddy issues, and it was in this moment that a light bulb went off in my head on how I could make an epic final exit from the castle for good. Can I survive? Can I somehow get down there? All right, new challenge. I will get down and escape the castle, leaving Serana behind forever. The only thing I can think of is we take off our armor and we somehow collide with the armor on the way down. Okay. That was embarrassing. <laughs> Close. Okay, all right. Now. 
no, no, no! God, it was so close. <laughs> No, not quite. Yeah, there's no point. There's no point to that one. Oh, man. This is most likely the dumbest thing you've tried doing in Skyrim. The dumbest thing I've tried doing in Skyrim so far. No, OK, that was it. That was it. That was the best we were going to do. We land. Oh, we landed twice. We could have landed twice. Land, land. Oh my gosh, it worked. I want to be an adventurer like you. My father says I can't. Don't worry, Eric. I'll show you some adventure. Six day, one goal. Make up for those we lost. I've learned the ins and the outs of surviving as a one-slot maniac, but if there's one thing I've failed at time and time again, it's being a leader, keeping my troops alive on the front line. This is Alftand. Within this dungeon lies the Targe of the Blooded, a shield that deals bleed damage when bashing. It's perfect for our build, but guarded by quite a lot. Our goal is simple, without myself or my new best friend Eric dying once. Retrieve this shield and escape the dungeon in one piece. Paralysis? Oh my god. Am I a one-handed build? Did we just witness? No, that's not what a goon is, okay? Grow up. Oh, it works! Okay, the paralyzation works. And when they die, they look frozen, which is kind of funny. That's a big upgrade. I'm so screwed. <laughs> I'm so absolutely screwed in here. Chad, what do you think the odds are of me getting through this dungeon without dying a single time? Not bad. All right, so we're gonna go flame cloak left, right hand open, because the left hand punch is awkward. Ah, I forgot he does good damage. Eric, please come paralyze this man. Ah, good, thank you, right on time. Good shit, Eric. Your father would be so proud of you right now. I'm proud of you. You're way better than Benor. Ah, oh, no, they're roly boys. Oh, no, okay. Can't afford Flame Cloak. At least we got a dodge in there. Eric looks like he did pretty solid damage though on that one. He's almost got one dead. Come on, buddy. I think that's one down. Nice, nice, nice. Push, Eric, push. Come on, Eric. You want to be an adventurer? That's what I'm talking about, Eric. That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about, Eric. That's why I love you. The chatters, talking shit, the people who think that you and I are both gonna die, more than likely just you, because I can save and have checkpoints, I'm the main character and all that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's better with two-handed. The paralyzation isn't gonna help us right now. We have to think immediate need. Immediate solution, immediate need. But by rule, we can't store the axe on him. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take the axe with us. He doesn't have a helmet. I don't care if it looks ugly, Eric, no complaining. Put the helmet on. How do you even see through that thing? We're gonna carry the axe with us. Keep tabs on that bed. We might have to use it. I think he's gonna struggle to hit the spiders, but for the big guys, he's gonna hit hard. Okay, we got a roly boy. One at a time, come on down. What a hit. To all my two-handed haters out there, I think you've uh, been proven wrong. We just can't lose track of it. We start fighting organic enemies. Although, damn, I, I am gonna lose this thing every single time. It's hard to find each time. Oh, we're taking it slow. Snail's pace. What's down here? Hmm. Ooh. Hold on a sec. <gasps> Luck pick. It's about goddamn time. Hold on. We only have one opportunity here. We got to play this smart. Get one shot on Adept. No. Uh oh. Don't really like the way this is trending so far. There we go.
Mmm. Okay, it's an Adam's Lock. It's not gonna be a massive correction, but it won't be nothing. Okay, it's not that way. Return to where we were. Slightly more. Come on. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and there's two more lockpicks in here. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> Absolutely massive. Ah, oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, can we give the necklace to Eric? This one comes with absorb health. Eric, you take it. Orcish scaled and it's, oh, is that an upgrade for Eric? Is that an upgrade? I think it, mm, possibly, <laughs> I don't know. I think so, I mean, it's light armor. He might be better in heavy armor, but this might be a little bit better. Eric is light armor. Boom, take him, throw him on, no questions asked, he puts him on. Okay, Orcish scaled, he doesn't wanna wear. Give him back the steel plate. He looks really goofy in those boots. This outfit looks awesome. <laughs> No. No, 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 Eric, Eric for... He's gravely injured, but he will recover in 14 days. God damn it. I'm gonna go grab my lockpicks. Technically can't wear the helmet anymore. At least for the next two weeks. God, where the fuck did I put the lockpicks? Lockpicks are somewhere on the ground. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, oh. I found them. Now, hopefully there's something in here. Whole lot of nothing. Yo. <laughs> Yo, you, you gotta, you gotta give me a break, game. Okay, I'll grab the lockpicks again. I'll carry them down the ramp. If I drop the lockpicks off this ledge, uh, the, what now? Why is the spider gotta attack now? This is very stupid. I'm gonna need a mod that just makes lockpicks bright green. Oh, that's just beautiful. I mean, that's the kind of performance you look for. Lockpicks on the table. Okay, the, the, it's so sad skipping on all of this loot that is objectively amazing. Can I do a master lock in three? Medium connection, correction right. And the loot is ass. The loot is ass, it's not good. Now hold on. Now wait just a ding darn second here. I think this dungeon, I think that I think this dungeon done wants me to jump off that ledge. No, y'all, I'm not making that commitment right now. That's too much. We're going back home. We are going to leave. We're going to get back to town. We're going to solve our food, our sleep. We have to. We're too debuffed right now. I have to leave Eric here. I quite literally cannot trust Eric to walk down this slope. I'm going to leave my armor here. We'll pick it up when we get back to the dungeon. I'm going to take that necklace. It's worth 830. I'm gonna have to actually jump in the fire pit here. Otherwise, I'm gonna get hypothermia, which I think lasts like a day or two. Oh my god. An or 70 gold? Yeah, we're gonna go Elven. Oh, Eric, I is so good to see you. Okay, we got the lockpicks here. If I drop them straight down. Those lockpicks might have bounced. Uh oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not fall. Oh my god, the armor. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, I can see the armor. <laughs> it's a little bit far down there, but I can see it. Oh, shoot. Okay, good catch, Eric. Let's see what damage we got here. Please don't fall. Is he gonna fall? I'm afraid to move. I'll be right here. Be careful. Okay, Falmer. All of this is dependent, though, on whether or not an arrow will kill me in one hit. We go flame cloak. Now I'm feeling a little bit better. Huge. Okay. No, Eric's down. He fell. 
he fell. Please be alive. Please just don't be dead. Don't be dead. Falmer, Falmer Skulker, that's going to hit pretty hard. I can eat one. Huge. Confirmed. We can eat one arrow from a Skulker. That's actually big news. Oh, no, no. Did the armor get knocked off? I think someone might have knocked the armor off the ledge. It might have fallen even further. Both my Eric and my armor are somewhere at the bottom of this giant chasm. We're doing pretty well so far, though. There's the armor. I don't necessarily need the armor right now, but holy crap, I can't believe we still have it. Oh, my God, he's in the middle of fighting right now. He's all the way at the bottom. Oh, I don't know what to do. Eric has been at the bottom of the pit, obliterating Oh my God, this is insanity. This is totally cheating just because it's surveillance. I don't care. Eric, I'm coming. I'm coming, Eric. <laughs> Missed. He paralyzed, he paralyzed. How in the fuck are you alive? Kiss me! Kiss me, you Nordic bastard! God, I love video games. He took out Frostbite Spider, Skulker, Falmer, Regular. Now, those aren't the most impressive kills on the planet, but he lived. It, paralyzation, he had to have gotten them a few times. That's massive. This axe is huge. Well, wait a minute. Wait! It's a novice! It doesn't break that quickly! I don't know if I've ever been fucked like that. I didn't enjoy it. God, I love video games. Okay. Got <laughs> we'll just move him around like a chess piece. Okay, got it. Fuck yeah, man. First that was sick, Eric. Okay. Wait, is that the shield? Oh my god, wait, that's the shield! Oh <laughs> no way! We're there! Let's go, Eric. Yeah. Kick ass. Oh my god. I cannot believe I just let that go through. We gotta marry. Wait, can you marry Eric? You know what? what? Let's do that. Ah! Oh no, no, wait, no, no! Wait, I was just professing my love! Like the